Welcome back to the Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the Den of Tools with more Black Friday stuff for you. Yep, and today we've got tractor supply. Now, if you don't have a tractor, just hold on, hold on. There's, there's a lot more to tractor supply than just tractors. In fact, good luck finding anything other than a yard tractor and tractor supply. But that doesn't mean they don't have some cool stuff. They definitely have tools and more for the house and homestead. So let's check them out. It's one of my favorite places, one of my family's favorite places to go. All right, here we go. We've got Tractor Supply Black Friday. Sale starts Wednesday. Shop online Thursday at Tractor Supply. So this is December 27th through the 1st. Stores are closed on Thanksgiving. Thank goodness. So we've got pressure washers for $2.99. we got some Carhartt down here. This is a great place to buy Carhartt on sale, you know, in store. There's some places you can get it cheaper online, but if you're the kind of person who's like, I want to see it, I want to put it on, you know, put it on and try it, this is the place to go. And we've got here... Uh, we got a DeWalt air compressor for $379 and a log splitter, 25 ton log splitter for $799 with free accessories. Now, right here in the center, we got a couple of safes. Liberty, uh, they're full size, one of their less expensive ones. So you're looking at $1,400 versus $580. So Liberty makes some excellent safes. I'm going to come out right now and say this this is not the top of the line old school Liberty safes. These are the more commercially viable ones. They've, they've pared things down. They're more akin to like the Canon and other kind of safes we're going to talk later. So if you're expecting Liberty quality safes that normally cost $25,000, dollars $5,000 for $1,400, you're not going to get that here, okay? So let's move on here. So this is a decent size ad. Uh, I'm going to scroll through the clothing. I'm not going to go over everything here. So you can freeze frame it if you want. Go ahead and hit pause on the video. Shop more brands, 15% off. Some more Carhartt. Buy one, get one, 50% off. We got kids' toys. They got some great creative kids' toys. You know, you got a little barnyard stuff, trucks and whatnot. Some great, you know, rustic kind of you know, home decorating kind of things. Here we got another heater here for $69.99. This is a pretty nice one. Um, it's kind of uh, a copy of the old Amish heater that they were selling a while back. Uh, but anyway, it's a uh, it's a it's a good heater. I, I like the because that's the kind of night or you know night table side stand kind of look. So you can actually put stuff on top of it. Sentinel there, the, there's a safe for three hundred dollars. This is basically going to be just a slightly more advanced lockbox. But remember, the key to safety, the first word in in security is obscurity. So a safe is just the last thing that if they get to that point, they only have. You know, they have to get through this, and you should have other security systems in place that limit the amount of time they have to, to do that. Okay, so safes are not end-all, be-all. These people who put a safe in their garage, bolt it to the floor, and everyone who drives back by when the garage door is open, that's just asking to get robbed. I'm sorry, it is. Uh, we get some more Carhartt down here, some Georgia boots. Those are nice boots. And here we get some Friday-only specials. Doors open at 6 a.m. Ooh. And uh, we got save $100 on this nice size DeWalt here, 60 gallon for $450. They do make some decent compressors. We got some gas trimmers, some electric combos there. Uh, they look cordless combo kit here from Black & Decker, $80. Uh, we got our 10 gallon hot dog style compressor. That, that job smart. It's a decent compressor as far as a 10 gallon compressor. It's going to be loud. Just understand right now. Sorry, there it is. That thing, it's going to be loud. You got your kayak option here for $250. We got some tie downs and generators over here on the left hand side. And then down here, we got some DeWalt combos. Uh, we got their electric grease gun for $180, their impact for $170, their combo there for $150. Now, this is the brushless ones, the brushless impact. And then we've got their toolbox for $99. Everyone has to have one of these toolboxes. What's the deal? Let's keep going. Heaters, heaters, and more heaters. There we go. Save $40 for $60. You get yourself a nice little, you know, cast iron stove looking kind of heater. To the right, we got, all oh, this thing looks like fun. $1,100, and you got yourself, it's a, it's not a, a big kind of, this is a kid's go-kart off-road kind of go-kart kind of thing. But man, you'll make kids Christmas if you put one of those under the tree. Your wife will shoot you probably if you try to run that into the house to put it under the tree. But anyway, we got the, <laughs> 
the lawnmower lift for $99. Your old traditional space heater there for $89.99. I call it traditional. When I was growing up, we had these things all the time. I can remember when we would play hockey outdoors at the clubhouse and stuff, they would have those style of heaters. Uh, there's and then we we, get, we played football. We had these torpedo heaters here for you got them for two hundred dollars. Uh, fencing, tractor supply. If you need some fencing and gates and stuff like that, they're the people to go to. They have some great stuff. Snowblower here, gas powered for four ninety nine. Here we got a Pullin Pro uh, gas chainsaw for hundred bucks. We got the <laughs> this this grill. Oh, man, what is up with these uh, these propane griddles? Man, do you guys griddle that much? You gotta be out there serving up the whole family and, and the neighborhood. Two hundred dollars though, if you if that's what you need. And we got ourselves a thirty three hundred. I can't read it. Large, large, medium to large psi pressure washer there. Three hundred dollars. I know. I apologize. I don't do these scans, and uh, sometimes they don't turn out all so great. So it can be a little difficult at times to read some of the fine print. We got all sorts of pet supplies here, chicken coops. Man, looks like they want you to stay warm this winter. We got 20% off stoves, furnaces, fireplace accessories. They have a lot of actually really decent fireplace accessories. I won't say they're top end kind of stuff, but you know, if you need some stuff for tending the fire, storing wood, that kind of thing, they probably have what you need. And uh, we got save $50 on these torpedoes, save 10% on, uh, on stove pipes. You know, maybe I might pick some of that stuff up for up in Montana. Here we got the Mr. Heater Portable. This is the, uh, I think this is one of the smaller versions, $69.99. We got a couple more, got a fireplace there, $49.99. That's nice. I like that. Uh, I'm a, I, you know what? I just like that kind of rustic feel. It little, makes it feel a little bit warmer and stuff than having like something like this little, you know, all metal and whatnot faux fireplace. And here we got 30% off towing accessories. That's kind of a nice little pickup. We got Gear Wrench. Look at this. $70. Save up 20%. Gear Wrench. 32 piece ratcheting wrench set or 68 piece mechanics tool set, $70 each. We've got a Job Smart Mechanics toolbox there for $150. We got a, a, a single hose reel there for $59.99. We got some off road lights, 25% off. And here we go, we got Canon Safes. Now, this is the 64 unit Canon Safe wide body. I used to have the 48 unit wide body safe. It was a little bit shorter, but it was about the same width. Man, I really like that. We sold it with the house when we moved. Anyway, fire rated to 75 minutes. Now they do their own fire rating, okay? Because these are not, these are not technically safes in the UL listing kind of. Thing. They're called security cabinets and stuff. Blah blah blah. blah. For $800, you're not going to get close to that kind of uh, security for anything under. Probably three thirty five hundred dollars. Remember, it's it's multiple backups and you know security through obscurity. Go check out uh, Explorer Steve's. I'm gonna try and link to his channel where he built a secret room for his safe. Nice little build. All right, we got some lock blades here. We got the old Red Rider there, twenty five percent or twenty percent off. We got the big boy Ingersoll Rand there for a thousand. The Porter cable for one fifty nine. Scaffolding for one twenty nine. We've seen similar scaffolding. That's about the cheapest. The little uh, tractor supply chair there for twenty nine ninety nine. If you like that style, we got another kayak. What's with kayaks and, and Christmas, man? I guess you could go sledding in a kayak. And we got a Hobart uh, MIG welder here for five hundred dollars, and a looks like a five fifty or sorry fifty five hundred watt Champion generator with wheel kit for five hundred dollars. Save one hundred fifty. Basically, looks like they're giving you the wheel kit there for free. And here we go. This is the last page of the catalog. Some, I think some cool stuff on here. We've got their uh, portable garage set here for $300. Uh, we've got uh, some more fireplaces. It's all about keeping warm <laughs> this winter. And then this trailer. This is the exact same trailer I have. It's a little bit more than I, I paid for, but prices have gone up. This is a great basic utility trailer, okay? It's five by eight. That mesh floor is okay, but honestly, I highly recommend getting some half inch plywood and sliding it in there to create a, a floor. You know, if that dies, you can always, it's cheap enough to pull out, put something new in. You can, uh, you can do a lot with these trailers or you can keep them bare bones. Uh, the one thing I will recommend is uh, getting a wire wheel and going over any place where the paint looks a little bit bubbled and putting some, uh, uh, some touch up paint over it. 
uh, just because the factory paint on these is uh, more than a little sketchy and rust will attack these things quickly. But look on Craigslist, try and find a utility trailer for under uh, $600 that isn't a total rust bucket as it is. And then to the right there, we've got a very nice little heater there, 100 bucks. And then below this, one of the most fun things you're going to find in the catalog, we got the Coleman over here, the Coleman mini bike for $500. Now this is not, calling a mini bike is a misnomer. All right, it, it's more than a mini bike. It is, uh, so I bought the Cubs two actual mini bikes. This is like a bike and a half of maxi bike. I don't know. And it's big enough that an adult like my size can ride it. And we used to do some trail riding up in Northern Montana, not Northern, uh, Northern, Northern California with, with this. And I'd be on this one. They'd be on the little bike. Had lots of fun tooling around with those things. Well, there you go. There's the Tractor Supply Black Friday sale. And, uh, Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. If I find any other Black Friday sales that you guys are interested in, let me know. I'll try and get it out as soon as possible. It's been hinted at that there might be another updated Home Depot one coming out actually on either Wednesday or Thursday. I'll stay on top of it so you guys can focus on your turkey and whatnot. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you everyone who stopped by for Sunday night Tool Talk Live. We talk tool, tech, family, and business, so much more. We do it every Sunday at 6 p.m. Come and join us. Hang out with the family. Have some fun. It's a great way to relax after the weekend. You know, you work hard during the week. You work, you play harder on the weekend. I know how it goes. Also want to say thank you to everyone who's been buying the Home Distillers Workbook. Your support is awesome. Makes a great gift for, you know, someone in your family who's looking to take their culinary arts to the next level, if you will. And as well, thank you everyone who's been buying the merch, coffee mugs and sweatshirts and stickers, all been big sellers recently. Really appreciate all your support. Speaking of support, I want to thank all everyone who's chosen to become a member of the Den of Tools. If you want to become a member, just go to the main page, click on the join button right there. You know, it says Den of Tools over off to the right, right next to the subscribe button, or uh, is where it says join there. And uh, you can sign up to become a, a, a brother or sister bear yourself. And anyway, that's all I got for you today. Hope you're having a great week. Hopefully, uh, you know, work isn't killing you. Sometimes, you know, I know these weeks, sometimes they stack tons of stuff on you getting ready for the break. And sometimes there's just nobody around and it's a ghost town. It's either feast or famine, right? I know how that is. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.